Danny over here talking about some hot girl summer over. I said, uh, you think? But hey, y'all, welcome back to another review with Life with Chessie. This is for Tyler Perry's Sister, Season 5, Episode 20. Okay, so <laughs> Danny was talking about some hot girl summer over. Um, Once Sabrina lets it be known that Q slept with Maurice, she told him to get out. Sabrina brought up Q's name, and I was like, okay, what have I been calling this man? I thought his name was Quentin. Have I been calling him Quentin or Quincy? I can't even remember. <laughs> I was like, wait a minute, what have I been calling this man? But yeah, um, so he like, can he get breakfast and all this stuff? And he'll see her at work. She said, when you see me, you better act like I'm a ghost and all that. And I said, he ain't going to let this go. The type of man he is, the person he is in general, he's not going to let this go. He's going to be trying to taunt her and bring it up. But um, Sabrina said it's just like college where she was rotating men and everything. And I said, so this is Danny's normal or what she usually do? Is there a reason why? I thought they was going to dive deeper into it. Maybe on the next episode because, you know, they're supposed to be meeting up and everything. But um, Danny tells Sabrina not to tell the girls. I said, you could forget that. I I mean, I kind of get it. If y'all sisters as they say you're supposed to be able to tell each other uh, the things that you're going through or when you need help and stuff like that so I get it but um Danny is talking about she don't need an intervention and Sabrina tells her that she needs more than it and I said man I'm disappointed y'all already know how I feel about this whole uh Q situation we're just gonna call him Q because I, I don't, can't remember what I've been calling this man but they could even after the fact when Sabrina was like, the, it's in the name, then Danny was like, they never talked They never talked about the name. She was like, Q, and all this stuff. And I was like, see, look, what I've been saying. They could have brought up the name to her. She would have known. They could have set him up. I still think that they got a chance to set him up. Uh, because they was talking about, uh, I think it was Sabrina and Calvin, saying they had to get him or something. I said, yeah, everybody need to do their part to try to get this man because, uh-uh. But they should have known. You don't make no deal. How you make a deal with the person you know did it? Talking about, they could blame anybody. Then the whole tape sound coerced. Uh, like, um, you could tell what they said that they could tell that uh, Maurice was saying it in a joking manner. But, yeah, um, I wonder if we're going to see Logan again because, um, who was that? Danny brought his name up and said he probably the one that got Q the job. And I said, see, they could, instead of having her sleep with him, could they be having her sleep with everybody? Instead of having her sleep with him, she could have, they could have set him up. They could have name dropped and set him up. But like I said, they still can do it. But now he probably more mindful because he know that they friends and everything. But at first, um, Danny was like, did he sleep with you too? And then they both said no at the same time. Well, yeah, that could have been done better. But um, Andy goes into work and everything. And so Paris has the receptionist lady give Andy flowers. And Andy felt some type of way because the lady said she know the lady that sell them down the street. And I said, you heard about some flowers from down the street, but you weren't worried about this man having a wife. I don't understand her logic. I really don't understand why what she be thinking, what be going through her head. Cause, and then it's the fact that she cut everybody off. She be talking about, what did she say? Um, when somebody crosses her or burns her or something, she cut them off. But this man done did, he, he, and then, I'll skip it too far ahead, but we finna get ready to talk about that part. Let me see, where is it? Yeah, we is finna talk about that part, cause, uh-uh. But, um, hold on. Yeah, Paris had, she said the janitor, but his name, Paris. Paris had the, the receptionist give Andy flowers, and she, she felt some type of way because the lady said she know the lady that's selling down the street. She was about to walk off, then she gives the lady the flowers. Somebody match her dress and stuff. I said, you look ungrateful. She don't want nobody who... She only got eyes for Gary. And based on the uh, spoiler, she finna be even more disappointed. And that's gonna be on her because at this point, he don't gave you too many red flags. It ain't no red flag at this point. <laughs> it ain't no red flag. It's a big old red stop sign. It's a big old stop sign at this point. <laughs> it ain't no flag. But um, she really still won't Gary, which is crazy. But I've been hearing, this is the spoil I was talking about. I've been hearing that Gary going to have a fiancé, a pregnant fiancé. Now, I don't know how true that is. I don't know if they was just thrown out there from fans or, you know, the media or whatever. But they say he going to have a pregnant fiancé. And I said, are we shocked? Because, look, what happened was, you know, because he was married to Jasmine. 
But once he got, didn't they get divorced or something or separated? Or, I think they divorced. I can't remember. But what is what they call it? Rotating spots or switching spots? Now Andy is so-called the main person. So he got to get him a new side chick. <laughs> so he got to get him a new side chick. But yeah, that's, that's what they said. Um, that Gary going to have a pregnant fiance. And I don't know. But um, Andy goes to see Robin and everything. And she tells... He tells her that the guy, the long short dude, wants more interest. I said, see, uh uh-uh. uh. See, this word, uh uh-uh. uh. This is why you don't borrow money from people. They could charge whatever they want. They can make a, all these different rules. Even within the country, they could have fine print. See, that's why you got to read it. But, um, so he's asked her, is she working with Gary? And she felt some type of way about that. And I said, you playing both sides, really, though. You really is playing both sides. So. It's revealed that Gary done called the loan shark dude asking to take to what they call it, rescind the offer, take back the loan he gave, and he'll give a better offer. So that's why the dude was like, he want more interest. And I said, uh uh-uh, uh, it shouldn't be like that. And I said, see, you spoke too soon. I said that last week. I said, you spoke too soon. Even Andy told him he spoke too soon. Trying to play the, the, the Gary game and look at you. Now you got to come up with more millions. That's too much money to be owing somebody. But, um, so now the dude want more interest. Um, Robin spoke too soon because he told his plan. Well, he didn't tell his plan. He revealed the move he'd made too soon. He told Gary that he had the money in the account. Gary went, checked. No, was it Gary that checked or was it uh, Hayden? I know Hayden found out about the uh, the loan shark. He said who it was and everything. You shouldn't be able to just do that. Ain't no way. But, um... So Andy only told Robin about the guy. It's revealed that Andy only told Robin about the guy, the loan shark, because she needed protection. She said if if Hayden and Gary get in charge or whatever, that she would lose her protection. She owed for partner, so that's why she told Robin about the loan shark. I said, this don't make no sense. I said, what? I said, say what? Okay, let's just pretend with this whole storyline. Like, they didn't just say she was already partner. Okay. Andy's chances of partner should have been ruined anyway. At this point, because you know how word travels fast across offices and anywhere you work. She don't slow with Paris. She don't slow with um, Robin. Not to mention she was with the girl with Robin and all that stuff. And then with hating them, hating the Gary, the games they playing. Ain't no telling what else they could have made up. So they could have told about the Jasmine thing. Look, it's so many th- reasons why she should have her partner, her being up for partner should have been taken. If we going to pretend with this storyline, because like I said, I could have sworn, you know, maybe we, I don't know. I don't know if this is just Tyler Perry forgot what he wrote. I don't know if we just assumed it. I don't know where it came from, but I could have sworn and she was already partner. But yeah, I said her chances of partner should have been ruined. You've been doing a lot on the job. You told him basically, no, I about to say you told him, but yeah, I said she's been doing a lot on the job. And then it's the fact that you, once you learn he was what, did one of the owners, how they going to buy out the owner? I don't know. Maybe it's the board because they mentioned something about the board. But, yeah, uh, once it was revealed that he was the owner, you should have backed out then. But, yeah, she told him basically she ain't helping no more. He got to do it on his own. And I got to ask, is that fair? Do y'all Would y'all consider that to be fair? The way he helped her and her friends, he don't help. Zach, he don't help Fatima, he don't help Sabrina, not to mention she owe him, but does that, is that fair, or is she right because of how he talked to her and how he treated her? But I get trying to protect your chances of becoming a partner, despite the fact that she's supposed to already been a partner, but you know, we're going to play make-believe. Didn't Fatima get a promotion at the same time as Andy? I'm like, oh, because at first she was the one sitting at the little receptionist desk, right? I don't know. <laughs> but this is what I was talking about. I did a separate video, um, I think on the synopsis of this episode. And I said, is this, do y'all think that shows should have set seasons where it's like, okay, five seasons and then they're out? Because they start to repeat lines, repeat storylines, forget what they wrote. And stuff like that. I, and is that a sign? Well, once they repeat storylines, don't y'all think that's a sign that they need to end the show? Because I could have sworn. Well, I don't know. I really don't know. Maybe I'm tripping. <laughs> but yeah, um, Sabrina tells Calvin that Bio agreed to give the money. 
and he wants to know if she'll see him again. And he studied question her, and she said, yeah, she is going to see him again. And I was like, look, this is confusing me. So, you know, Karen confused. Because when they kissing, I said, make up your mind now. You can't talk. Well, she ain't slept with him, though. No, she didn't sleep with him, right? I don't. I can't remember. But, uh, yeah, Karen just need to give up at this point. Because uh, since season one, and you still, y'all still ain't on the same page. And we towards the end of season five. Uh-uh. It's same with Gary and, um, what's the name? Same freaking stuff since season one. But, uh, yeah, he questioned her about bio and everything. And he basically ends up saying the same thing as Andy later on in the show about the money. Like, okay, don't nobody just, when is bio going to reveal why he gave his money? Do y'all think that somebody would give you that amount of money just because they like you? Or do y'all think they would have attention I know everybody don't have secret motives and stuff like that, but that's a lot of money. How he changed, he changed his mind so fast. Did he think about it or what? Like, I don't know. But uh, he says that Bio trying to buy her because she, uh, when he ate her, she going to see him again. Um, but then they started to talk about Q, and she was about to tell that uh, she saw him at Danny's and everything, but she stopped, and she just said she's seen him. And they both agreed that they got to do something about Q. And that's why I said maybe they can still set him up. Maybe they, they can still set him up. Maybe. But now I feel like he's going to be on guard at work and stuff around Danny. But you never know. She could play it off or anything. Because until they get. Because then they got a lot at stake because it's their freedom. And not to mention they owe. Uh, Sabrina owes Andy who Andy owes. No. Sabrina. Well, it's the same thing. Sabrina owes Andy because Andy gave her some money. And as well as Robin. And then now Sabrina owed Bios. And you know, they said that they get the money back um, once the charges are dropped and everything, didn't they? But what if they can't get the charges dropped? I mean, of course they're going to get the charges dropped because look, what they're going to do a whole more storylines in prison, in jail, and everything? I doubt it. But I wonder can they get their job back? That means Maurice fired too, right? Because Sabrina said she fired. So I wonder could they get their job? I wonder you want to work. Because if you've seen. You seen the tape where this man robbed these folks. I know they don't apparently in the justice system they don't care as long as they got somebody to blame, which is unfair and crazy. Cause then they free to go rob somebody else. But yeah, I also you know how I said I wanted them to set Q up. I also wanted them to do a bigger storyline and reveal who Q was on the phone with that day, cause he was on the phone with somebody that day. Cause when he got through sleeping with Maurice. He was like, when he pulled the weapon out on him, he was like, yeah, I'm with that B-A-N now. And they never revealed who he was on the phone with. So whoever it was, I thought they were going to be like, okay, you remember when he called him from prison and was like, he's sorry, he shouldn't have did it and all that stuff. I was like, okay, he finna tell that somebody else was in charge. And if you've been listening to my reviews, you already know. I thought this is where they was going to bring Alonzo. You remember Alonzo? Remember when he uh, did that stuff to Maurice, attacked Maurice and everything? And I said, okay, when he came back in the bank and he was like, can you drop the charges and everything? And he said, no. And he was like, okay, it wasn't a, okay, I'm finished. It's a, okay, you finna see why you should have dropped the charges. But, and I was like, Alonzo, put him up to it. nothing. We probably ain't gonna see Alonzo again. But yeah, that would have been good. I would have like preferred that to, for it to be revealed that Alonzo put him up to it because he wouldn't drop the charges to get back at him and Sabrina. But nope, they didn't go with that storyline. But uh, let's see where I stopped it. Oh, about Q. Um, I said they still can set him up. We'll see how they go. Danny probably some type of way they could get Danny to catch him. But then would they even take the recording if they recorded him? I don't know. But um, Maurice calls and everything. They let Maurice know that they got the money. Real fast. I think back in the day. I don't know why I said back in the day, but we could look at the fact that someone giving millions and look at that with gratitude and be like, okay, oh, it's a good thing. They over here giving millions. Who? Ain't nobody just going to give you millions. That's a great thing and all that. However, I feel like, I just feel like there's a difference in regards to Bio and Calvin. Calvin was willing to give all he had. And she more excited about Bio, the millions. I understand because her friend getting out of jail. And he done made her feel like she responsible, even though he the one was to blame. At least he did thank her and said he knows it's his fault. But still, do you really know that? But yeah, I just feel like there's a difference between Bio and Calvin. 
Calvin was willing to give all he had in the bank for Sabrina and Maurice. Remember, the first it was Sabrina. He told Danny, I got 20000 I think it was 20000 in the bank. You can have it all. And, but they ended up getting the money from um, Andy and uh, Robin. Then he offered it up for Maurice, and I said, ain't nobody just willing. They were, He was willing to give. I don't know how to explain it, but he was willing to give all that he had. Uh, yeah, I think it was 20000 I think that was the amount. But Sabrina more grateful to buy you for the money. And I said, regardless, either way, that's a lot of money. 20000 might not be a lot to some people, but if for him to say it's all he had, and he was willing to give it for you. And you still can't see how this man feels about you. I don't know. That's why I said it. they should have ended the series. I still said it. they should have been ended the series. Before you began the spinoff, usually people, <laughs> am I tripping? Usually they end the series before they start the spinoff, right? That's why these storylines not matching. They got this going on, sisters. They got this going on, Zatima. They got to play catch up on sisters. Then they got to play catch up on Zatima. They moved too fast. I feel like they saw that fans was crazy over Zach and uh, Fatima being together. So they was like, well, we going to use this to our advantage. It's just like I always said, you know how people always talk about Tyler Perry, his plays or his movies with the weeds and stuff. And they be like, uh, they just be clowning him and they be resharing and reposting. I said, at this point, I know Tyler Perry be seeing them talk about his weeds and stuff, but he continued to use it. You know why? Because technically, uh, I mean, this ain't facts. It's just my opinion. I think he see that it's free promotion. Because if people see it and they be like, look at that weed, uh-uh, he ought to be ashamed. Then they'll retweet it and repost. That's free advertising. That's free advertising. That's something he ain't got to invest in because they retweeting and repost. So now people are like, I got to check this show out. And then they check the show out. And then they, some of people, not everybody, some people see it and be like, okay, I like this. It's a marketing tactic. That's what I think. I, I could be wrong. But I was like, okay, because if you see your fans or it's people that could potentially be your fans don't like how you use the weeds and you continue to use it, that's a marketing tactic, tactic or whatever. But, yeah, I still, what y'all think about the bio and uh, Calvin thing? Because, yeah, 20000 but then the million, I forgot how, listen, I don't forget. I don't threw away all my notes. I forgot how much it was. But, yeah, either way, that, it go, that's a lot of money. But Calvin's just so sad. Look, he just, <laughs> he's like, okay, I'll see you. And she's like, i call you. And then he's supposed to be meeting her at the uh, prison. I said, y'all ain't supposed to. Don't they supposed to tell them don't be around each other so they won't think they in cahoots together or something? That's what I thought. I don't, I don't think you're supposed to. I don't know. <laughs> I could have sworn they tell you don't go around. I mean, they still friends regardless, and they really didn't do nothing. But I don't think you should be seen at the place with them. I mean, they already think y'all two robbed them together. And then I don't think that prosecutor dude going to let this go. Son, that's going to pop off watch because he... He is so focused on getting Andy because she got that money from him in that, the, the, in that divorce that he willing to do anything. Fatima and, um, why about I call this girl Danny? Fatima and Andy talk and everything. And she said, Fatima said everything fine with Zach. And I don't like how they did that. But Andy tells Fatima that Karen apologized. I had scratched out this part because I was like, I don't know. I said, the part I stretched out, I said, she should have said, everything is good, let's leave it at that. But then Fatima was shocked that that she said Karen apologized, and Andy agreed. And I'm still not seeing the boundaries. I'm, they just be, there still ain't no boundaries. She, you don't need to know what, nothing about Karen. She don't need to know nothing about you. That's the way you're going to keep, that's the only way you're going to keep the peace. And then they should have had a scene where they showed Fatima telling What's the girl name? Her friend Angela and them to mind their business. Don't tell them nothing else. They ain't addressed the doggone picture fully. I'm talking about they fine. How you fine and y'all ain't addressed the picture thing. But um, when they talking this stuff, they see Hayden with Tamara. And I knew then that he said he is about the job because, you know, he said he would help her get a job. But uh, Fatima tells, Fatima ends up going to talk to uh, Zach on the phone and everything. And she tells Zach to apologize. I feel like I skipped something. But uh, she tells Zach that he need to apologize. Go tell Karen he's sorry that he was wrong. And I said, uh, you sure that's a great idea? I said, you, every time these folks meet up, it's something. They go down. They either sleeping together. They either arguing. They either fighting. <laughs> that don't make sense. I don't understand. But, yeah, she's like, he need to apologize. Um, Go uh, see her. 
because he said she ain't answering his phone calls or anything. And she was like, well, go to her. She talking about she trusts him. She trusts him. I said, do you? Because uh, y'all didn't really come to no understanding about this dog on picture. All this over this picture. He could have went to jail and all that other stuff because of this picture. But y'all just going to drop it. Y'all ain't going to know. It's just going to go under the rug with the other stuff y'all ain't addressing. Like the fact that you had an abortion. That's what you said on Zatima and all that. And then this dude at the dog on door. This Joey dude, I don't know what he got going on. I don't know if he just trying to talk to her. I don't know what. But, um, yeah, uh, he do owe Karen an apology. Yeah, did I say that he need to stay on the phone with her when he go over there? Yeah, I think I did. But he do owe Karen an apology. But something about him standing in Karen's face when stuff keep popping off, not sitting right with me. Not sitting right with me. Like, I don't understand. Like, hopefully he learned his lesson. And as soon as he go see her, See Karen that he calls for Team after because you remember she was mad because he didn't call her said that wasn't normal for him, so hopefully he learned his lesson. Hopefully he don't they don't hug or nothing. Look, you'll never know who got no camera nowadays. Don't hug or nothing. That's gonna start a whole bunch of mess for no reason, and they ain't gonna address it. And they're just gonna push it up, push it out the way, push it under the rug. I mean, but they show Gary and Hayden. They finna get ready to meet up with Robin. I said I can't stand these two. I can't stand Gary and I can't stand Hayden. The day these two linked up, look, both of them need to get what's coming to them. So it's revealed Hayden got a client on the board. That's how they found. That's how they found out about the uh, guy, the loan shark dude. They end up telling uh, Robin that they raised uh, the the whatever the little buyout amount for ten million. And I said at this point, oh, this ain't even worth it. I don't know if it's a pride thing. I don't know if it's because he invested so much into it. Well, technically, he just got there, but you never know how much he invested. But I don't know what it is. I said, it ain't even worth it at this point. I just had to, he mad. How you going to, for them to reveal that there's a chance that he got a pregnant fiance, how you going to be mad about Andy seeing people when you seeing people? But that's the usual, right? But yeah, they raised it by ten million, and I said at this point it ain't even worth all this. Start your own company. Like then they revealed he got to match the amount or something. He got to get three million dollars. Robin said he gonna get the money by what five o'clock or whatever. So he gonna sit up here and get more money from this guy. That's the only way I he gonna get the money. And I said, well, I don't understand because the dude said that he got to pay more interest. So you gonna get three more million from him? And pay double interest or triple interest. And I don't understand. Look, at this point, I see this backfiring on everybody. It's going to backfire on Robin. It's going to backfire on Hayden and Gary. It's going to backfire. But uh, I feel like Hayden should, if Robin, the, I know that he a lawyer. Hayden a lawyer, so he probably could sue Robin if he tried to fire him because he could be like okay he fired him for no reason or whatever and he already crooked we already know he crooked but I said at this point Hayden should have been fired I'm sure the people in the office got some type of information somebody somewhere in there got information on him this ain't his first time usually with these situations this don't be folks first time doing stuff so all they gotta do like I said, with the, the, the substances he had planted in Zach's truck, they probably going to have a hard time proving They would have had a hard time proving it because he had somebody do it. But, yeah, they should have handled that a long time ago. But, yeah, um, I'm sure this ain't his first time, and they're going to have to gather information for on him. And in regards to Gary, Andy going to have to be the one to handle him. I said she probably know all his weaknesses, all his weak spots and stuff. And she, later, probably at the end of the series, because at this point, they say it's a season six, though, which it shouldn't be, I feel like. I feel like it should end because the same story, just a different day. But um, Fatima goes into the reception and says that uh, Hayden wanted Hayden wanted to marry to fill out an application and everything. She in the break room. And Fatima goes in. She tells Tamara that she can't work there. She got to make up something. And I said, yep. This Tamara thing definitely ain't gonna work. It's definitely ain't gonna work. Cause then um what did Tamara say? She said uh he gave her two hundred dollars for breakfast and all that. And I said, Yep, it's not gonna work. Uh, something gonna happen. I said, and soon as Fatima left, she talking about some she gonna fill that application out and she gonna get all his money. And I said, Yeah, it ain't gonna work on the preview for next week's episode. I think next week. Um She's telling, she's doing what Fatima said about uh, trying to get him to drop Heather. And Heather, 
I forgot to write that down. Heather over here talking about some, um, well, he telling, Hayden is telling Tamara that she could get half of everything he got. And she talking about his house. He got a nice house. And she like, he like, you can get with a nice house too. I said, he dirty. <laughs> yeah, all this because you mad. You and Gary are one and the same. What's wrong with y'all? Y'all not take, y'all don't know how to take rejection. I don't even know if it's rejection at this point because you had the person. You just lost the person. It's over. It's over. But yeah, the Tamara thing ain't going to work out. She telling him on the preview for next week's episode that uh, she just can't fathom. Basically, she can't fathom someone else uh, getting what she getting and all that extra stuff. Playing the goodies. Look, he going to get onto her. She going to fall for him. She going to look at it as, oh, this will come up. Like, oh, I can make, I can get all his money or I can make more money by being with him than being against him. Like, you can tell because she still, she said she going to fill out the application anyway. She told her not to do that. See, look. Shouldn't try to play hating games, but yeah, uh, and he's supposed to be in season six too, so it's not gonna be over no time soon. Apparently, we just gonna have to wait and see where I stop it. Let me see. Um, uh, Andy, Andy tells Sabrina that Maurice want to get out and everything, and Sabrina already done told Andy about Danny and Q, and that's how I knew it wouldn't be long. Andy ends up asking for I about to say for Tima. Andy ends up asking Sabrina about the money. Asking her question, asking her question, Lord Jesus, asking her, <laughs> asking her questions about the money, the amount of money she got from Bio, and Sabrina got offended. She was like, "So Gary can buy you cars and all." That. See, that's why you don't tell people your business. They will use it against you. Don't tell people y'all business. She was like, she got offended. She was like, so he can't genuinely give. Ain't nobody giving you no. Now, if you was married or y'all been knowing each other a long time, yeah. They could give you the amount, but he don't know you like that. I don't know, though. Maybe she right, but she got offended because uh, she said that, and she was like, you right, you right, and all this stuff, but no. Everybody keeps saying Calvin, saying it. Danny warned her not to take the money. Everybody, I said something going to pop off. I don't know what it is, but something's definitely going to pop off. But they still foreshadowing what's to come in regards to the salon because, you know, they got pictures rotating the internet with Karen covered in, like, uh what they call it, the whatever it's like when you've been in a fire and their things in the sun. And then she also got a picture of, uh, what's her name, Pam, in the office, in Andy office or something like that. But, yeah, the salon's supposed to burn down. I don't know how true that is. But, yeah, they foreshadowing what's to come in regards to the salon because she keep on talking about these videos. So send me better videos of you shutting everything down in the salon and everything. I was like, yeah, they couldn't be more obvious. That's definitely going to happen. But Aaron ends up bringing Karen lunch and everything. Uh, what is... And at the end of the episode, that Joey dude c- comes looking for Fatima. And, he, and Zach was like, who are you? And everything. And then Zach on the preview for next week's episode asking Fatima if he knows everything about her past. And, you know, I did the... Uh, if you didn't know, I did a video on next week's episode, the synopsis, where uh, they talk about an old friend showing up for Fatima and stuff. So check it out. Um... They also showed on the preview some lady outside of Karen Salon talking to Aaron and what he said. Sound like he told her to stop calling him John. So I don't know if it's a case of mistaken identity. I don't know if that's the name he used. I don't know. But uh, Pam was telling Karen, you ain't going to go out there and see who it is. And they said for next week's episode, um, Karen starts to have her doubts because she sees a different side of Aaron. She might see him get angry. That's probably what it is. Some people were saying that it was going to be cheating or something, but they ain't together, so how would it be cheating? But um, I'm thinking it's anger, maybe anger issues or something. But because, uh, you know, we seen, what was it, season one, when he was in the office with um, with his wife and uh, Danny in Andy's office, and he hit the table and everything. And I said, I think they're going to do the whole anger issues thing. I don't know. But um, I don't know if this... I, I, Tyler Perry, look here. I like your shows and movies, but you need to do better. <laughs> yeah, I need to get some more. I think it's time to end the show. I don't know. That's my opinion. Because unless you're going to get some better storyline, this ain't it. This is seeming, it's seeming very forced at this point. Because you're forgetting what you wrote. And none of these characters are showing any proof of uh, growth. I feel like Zach got more proof than any of them at this point. I feel like for team of backtracking, and Karen, too, because Karen, at first, we seen her be the strong person, all this. But they said they they said that they gonna, they, uh, they going to move past all this. But we'll see. They said that every week, and then something else pop up. 
But yeah, it, nobody really showing no type of growth except Zach. Even though they keep trying to hold him to his past. But y'all let me know down below what y'all thought of this episode. Until next time, deuces.